the reading that we do with prayer, um, we tend to do after dinner. She's had a little time to just chill out from coming back from school. And we'll spend maybe half an hour, some days an hour. Generally, she just, you know, she'll say, oh, mummy, it's time to read my book. And we'll come here and sit down and she'll start reading. OK. This week is going to be a special week. What's the outside? Alien. An alien. How many eyes what has it got? Four. Four eyes. Okay. Ma, what does that say? You said it. What did you say it was? Sorcus. No. What did you say before? Sorcus. So. What's the other sound that that can make? Sir. Sources. Sources. For supporting prayer with her reading, her writing, I find that even though she makes mistakes, as long as she enjoys doing the work and I'm not purposely correcting her all the time, she's a lot happier and has such she does better work. The lo loch ness monster. No, that's, sometimes loch. it's a ch, sometimes it's a k. k. So loch the... ness monster. This week we are going to brighten up the school. Oh no! <laughs> Before I'd started going into school uh, on a regular basis, um, I found that I was using how I was taught at school and I was using the same methods to teach my, my daughter and I found that she was correcting me saying that, oh mummy we don't do it this way anymore and you're old-fashioned, um, mummy, we are taught this way of doing it. And by going into school, I've seen for myself how they teach. Do you think it's a good idea about the children doing this mural? No. You don't? Why? Because the, um, in this picture she's shouting. OK, and what did she want them to do? Um, um, a pic... Um, a a mural um, with flowers, a spring flowers. I find that making a little bit of time for your child, even if it's at the very end of the day, just half an hour to sit and talk with your children or play games with them or do reading or how their day has been, it, it makes a lot of difference to the children.